Hi, this is Mark from ereplacementparts.com. Today we're going to take a look at replacing the belt on a vacuum cleaner. This is a very simple repair that anybody can do, and most vacuums will have a very similar method to replace the belt. We're going to show you how to do that now. I've got the vacuum up on my bench, and we'll go ahead and get started with the belt replacement. Very, very simple tools to do this. About all I'm going to need is a Phillips tip screwdriver in this case. Uh, you know, your machine may use an Allen wrench or a Torx screw, but this one is Phillips. There's four screws here I need to remove. I'm going to re take those out now. With those four screws removed, now I can remove this plate right here. On my vacuum, there's a little tab I have to press down on in order to remove this plate. Right in the center here, I just kind of press down and pull out at the same time, just like that. Now this piece will come right off the vacuum. To replace the belt, I have to remove the brush, and it just simply pulls right out of the vacuum, just like that. Now I can take the brush out from inside the belt. Inside the vacuum, there's the drive pulley and I need to remove the belt from that next. And that just comes off the side of that pul the pulley and out like that. Now I'm ready to install the new belt. First thing you'll notice is the new belt is considerably smaller than the old belt. That's because the old one has stretched out over time. The new belt is elastic enough, it will stretch to that uh, same length, but it will make our replacement a little bit more challenging. First thing I want to do here is take the new belt and slide it around the motor pulley or the motor shaft. So I just stick it in there behind the shaft, just like that. Now I can take my brush, insert it through the center of the belt. And now it's just a matter of remounting this. You'll notice on this side of the brush, there's a squared off uh, section. And that fits into a similar section in the vacuum housing. And I want to put that side in first. OK, there I've got that side installed into the vacuum. Now it's just a matter of lifting this side up with that belt tension and snapping it in to the opposite side of the vacuum housing. Just like that. Just even up the belt a little bit there so it's on that pulley properly. And that's it as far as putting in the new belt. Now we just have to close the vacuum up. Again, I take this plate, snap it into place on the vacuum, and replace the four screws that hold it in place. And that's all it takes to install a new drive belt on your vacuum cleaner. As you can see, there's no reason to take your vacuum to a repair shop for that simple repair.